Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and h as the input. And then if the binary representation of the number contains 101, then it is a hard integer. So this is the definition of the hard integer. And the number of occurrences of 101 is the hardness of that integer. The program is print the number of integers from 1 to n having hardness greater than or equal to h. So we'll take the test case. Here we have n as 50 and we'll start from 1. So binary representation of 1 is 0001. Here there is no 101. Then we'll move to the next. It is for 2. The binary representation is 2. Sorry, 0010. So 101 is not present here also. Then for 3 it is 0011. There also 101 is not present. And for 4 it is 0100. Here also 101 is not present. But when you see for 5 the binary representation is 0101. So here we can see that 101 is present. So here the x will be equal to 1. So x is equal to h. So h is also equal to 1. And similarly when we go on we have the binary representation of 10 which contains 101 and so x is equal to 1 and then for 11 we have 101 1 so x is equal to 1 and then for 13 we have 1101 so here also x is equal to 1 and then for 20 we have 10100 so x is equal to 1 so similarly doing it up to 50 we have 20 numbers with binary representation 101 so 20 will be our output now we'll understand that optimize the logic of this program. First we have to get our input. The integer n and h and then we'll use our for loop and iterate from 1 to n and after iterating we'll have to use a function called as get count that is get count will have the bin function so we'll get the binary representation of the numbers by using the bin function and then After this, we are going to check whether it is greater than or equal to h or not. That is, if the count is greater than or equal to h, then we'll have result will be incremented by 1. So before this, we'll have a variable called as result as 0. And then, if the get count of binary of num is greater than or equal to h, then result will be incremented by 
one and we'll print the result as the output so now we'll define the function get count so get count of yes and here first we'll have two variables called as index and count as zero and zero and then while true so we are using method called find method so while true the index is equal to yes dot find of 101 then we'll have index plus 1 and then if index is greater than 0 then we'll increment the count by 1 else will return the count so for example if we have the binary representation as 10101 1, means then the index will be at the zero initially so when it's when it is at the zero for this binary representation we can see that 101 is present at the first first index itself so index will be changed to 1 that is it is incremented by 1 and then now if index is greater than 0 then count also will be incremented by 1 so after this now index is 1 so we'll check from the index 1 in that binary representation that is we'll check from 0 and we can able to see that 101 is present at the third position so and this is how it works so in the, if index is greater than 0 count will be incremented by 1 and then else will return the count so this is the optimized way we have used other logic may lead to time exceeded error